Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Modeling Minecraft. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Mr. Crayfish's model creator, and we're actually going to explore all the various different options on how to use the program, and actually make ourselves a very simple block model just to get started. So first of all, let's take a look at the user interface. In the middle here, we have the 3D build space, and this is where you'll actually build your block models. If you hold right click and move your mouse, you will rotate the build space. If you hold left click and move your mouse, you will move the build space. You can also scroll in and out with your scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the build space. There are also various tabs in the top left. There is the file tab, which contains new, load and save project, which handles dot model files, import and export JSON files. And the JSON files are actually what Minecraft uses. So don't try and um, put a saved project dot model file into a resource pack because it won't work. You can also set the texture path, which you can see in the tooltip sets the base path to look for textures. And this doesn't seem to work for me, but ideally you want to set it to the um, file directory that we set up in the first episode. So Minecraft Models, Assets, Minecraft, Textures and Blocks. So you'd want to set it to this path here. There's also an Options tab, which allows us to toggle the transparency of any textures which contain an alpha channel, such as ice or stained glass. There is a screenshot tab which allows you to take a screenshot of the current 3D build space and either save it to the disk, share to Facebook, share to Twitter, share to the Minecraft subreddit, or upload to Imager and get the Imager link. There is a more tab which contains examples of uh, models that Mr. Crayfish has made, and the Planet Minecraft and Minecraft forum links, as well as the GitHub source code, and a button to donate to Mr. Crayfish via PayPal. Over on the right, we have all the tools used for actually building block models. So in the top right, there is the elements list, which lists all the different elements used in the block model. We also have three buttons below that, the new element button, the remove element button, and the duplicate element button. And if you're unsure of what any button or anything does, there is usually a tooltip when you hover over it. Below that is the element name, so you can rename elements to keep things organized. Then there are three different tabs, Element, Rotation, and Faces. Now for this episode, we're only going to concentrate on the Element and Faces tabs. We're not going to talk about Rotation because that gets a little bit more complicated, but we'll look into that in the next episode. So to show you what all the various different buttons in the Element and Faces tabs do, we're actually going to get started making our own block model, and I'll explain what they do as we go along. So first of all, we're going to click New Element. And you can see that a blank sort of cube appears in the top left corner. And with the size tabs, we can actually resize the um, element. So this is in the X direction, the Y direction, and the Z direction. And you can also type in the numbers depending on what size you want. So if you want a full block, it would be 16 by 16 by 16. And that's a full Minecraft cube. But for now, I'm just going to reset it back to 111. You can also hold Shift and click the um, arrows to increase it by 0.1 each time, rather than keeping it to whole numbers. Or you can just type it in. Then the position, um, this bit is more similar to Techni. Um, so you can move the position of the element either via the arrows here or by actually interacting with the 3D build space. For example, if I come over to here with the green and blue axes, I can then hold control and left click and move the element in either the green axis direction, the Y axis, or the blue axis, which is the Z axis. I can also hold right click to resize it in those axes. And you can only resize in two axes at the same time, so you have to rotate between them. So if I want to resize or move within the um, X and Y directions, I'd, I'd move the view, view space looking this way. And I'd hold Control and move it about. And if I wanted to resize it or move it in the uh, X and Z directions, then I'd move on top and move it about this way by holding Control. So I'm going to move it into the top left corner there and I'm going to move it down one block and now I'm just going to use the buttons over here to resize it to a full Minecraft block. 
So for this video, we're not going to make anything too complicated. We're just going to make a simple block model just to get our heads around how to actually use the program. And next episode, we'll talk about how to use rotation and various other more complicated stuff. But in between those episodes, you can always experiment yourself and see what you can come up with. So right now we have this cube, but we don't have any textures applied to it. And that's where the faces tab comes in. So you can see over on the left, there is the UV editor. There is also the side um, selection um, sort of list. So we have the north side selected at the moment. Now, if we click image, um, you can see I already have the images, um, the textures imported. But to import a texture, just click import and then find the, if I go home, find the Minecraft models folder, the assets, Minecraft, textures, blocks, and you can click this for a listed view and just find the jukebox uh, top. Yeah, jukebox top and jukebox side. So open them both up and then we're going to click on the texture we want and we're going to click apply. So you can see that I applied it to the north texture. So if I rotate the model, you can see it's over on the north texture. So we could just um, select each side, go to image, click it and apply and apply it to each texture that uh, each face that way. Or what we can do is click copy on a face that has the texture we want. So we've copied the east face texture. Then we can hold shift paste to paste it to all the faces. Now, obviously, because it's a jukebox, we want to change the up texture. So we're going to go to up, image, click this one, apply. Now, over here is the UV rotations. We can actually rotate the UV if we want to. And you can also change the size of the UV if you have something that isn't the default 16 by 16 sort of size. Um, so we're actually going to make this a bit more 3D now by giving this a bit of a lip around the edge of the um, of where you put the disk in. So we're going to click, actually before we name, put a new element, we're going to name this. So we're going to call it like base or something. Then we're going to do new element. Going back to the element tab, we're going to set its position to 16. And then we're going to move it along to here. Now you can just use the 3D view space to move it around. Um, personally, I prefer the arrows just because I'm more used to the Techni style um, sort of way of building things or modeling things. So again, it has no texture, so we go to the Faces tab and do Image. Um, we'll just use this image, Apply, and Copy, Shift, Paste it to all of the textures. So you can see at the moment it uses the UV from... Uh, the top left of the texture and we can change that if we want to so for example if i want to change the top of the texture i can move this around and you can see the texture on the top of the um, cube changes for now though i think i'll keep it um, on the black if i can move it come on there we go so i think i'm going to keep it like that for now um, now because the um block will be the same over here as it is over here we can actually just duplicate the element so I'm just going to call this uh, side lip or something like that and then we're going to click this button here to duplicate the element then we can go back to the element tab and change the position so we can just move it over here and then we just make the other two lip pieces by uh, clicking new element changing the position again to 16 and then changing the size how big do we want it not in that direction not in that bleh. I keep messing up so I believe it's something like that a bit longer 10 okay, there we go and then we can do faces uh, I believe we can just do shift paste yeah okay so that pastes in the last used um, texture, so you don't even have to import any image. Um, so that looks good. I might change the UV on the top, maybe just bring it down one. I shall bring it down for all sides so it doesn't have the that black edge. 
There we go. Well, that has a black edge on the corners, so let's move that down a bit. There we go. And then I'll just duplicate that element again. Actually, I should have named these. It's much better to keep your um, elements sort of labeled so you know what they are. Um, obviously, if you're like doing a model like this where there aren't too many elements used, then maybe you don't have to, but it's always a good idea to just keep things labeled so you know what's what. So long lip. I don't know why I'm calling it a lip. I just, I don't know. Okay, so elements, and then we're going to change the position of this to there. And there we have a rather simple, but our own made block model. And actually, I'm going to change the UV of these side pieces here, just to make it a bit nicer. So I'm going to move the uh, north that way, east, just to keep it away from the corners, because the corners are slightly darker than the rest of the model. So there, that looks better. And again for the other bit, just move that along. And there we go, we're done. So now what we can do is we can firstly save the project to whatever, whatever we want. So I'm going to save it to the Minecraft models folder. And I'm actually going to set up a new folder. Oops. I'm going to set up a new folder and I'm going to call it models just as a space for us to save our models in. We're going to go into that folder and we're going to save it as jukebox. And remember, this is just the file that um, the model creator will recognize. So nothing that uh, Minecraft will recognize. For that, we want to actually export the JSON file. Now for this, I'm actually going to save it in the same spot, just so we have a copy of it. But we also want to save a copy to our resource packs folder. So if I go and open the resource packs folder in .minecraft, if we go into my resource pack, which is the resource pack we set up last time, I'm going to assets, minecraft, models, block, and in here we will have a jukebox model. So if we scroll down a bit, we will see jukebox. So what we want to do is go to our other folder and in here we have our jukebox JSON file. We want to drag it across and replace the file in the destination. And now if we go into Minecraft and load this resource pack, uh, we will see the model that we created. So I'll be right back. So here we are back in Minecraft and as you can see our model hasn't exactly rendered as properly as we'd like it to. You can see that the top um, uses the correct textures and everything, but the bottom uh, sort of base block uses the missing textures, and this isn't supposed to happen. Um, I'm going to assume that this is an error with how the program exported the JSON code rather than something wrong that I did, but if it was indeed something wrong that I did, then I'll update the video so you don't make the same mistake. But for now, we can actually take this opportunity to sort of debug um, what went wrong and try and fix it. It's because a lot of the time you will get errors like this and you'll be trying to figure out how the hell do I figure out what's wrong. So what we're going to do is actually open the Minecraft launcher log. So you can see here in the launcher log there is an error here and it says using missing texture unable to load Minecraft textures null jukebox top.png. Now that null should actually be blocks slash jukebox underscore top dot png. So I'm not sure why it has put a null there. Um, I'm going to assume that it was the program, but if not, then I'll update the video like I said. So we're actually going to fix that now. We're going to go to uh, my resource packs, assets, Minecraft, models, block. I'm going to search for jukebox. And you can see that here it says null jukebox top when it should say blocks slash jukebox top. So I'm not entirely sure uh, what happened here, but we'll fix it for now. Um, one thing I forgot to show was how to do a particle because Mr. Crayfish has now implemented particles to his um, 
modeling program, so we'll get to that in just a second. Also, I want a particle, so we'll go to Element, and in here is a particle button, so we can click Particle and choose what texture we want for the particle. So I'll just choose this texture, click Apply, and now we have the particle bit as well. And we're back in Minecraft again very quickly just to demonstrate that when I break the block, it now renders the correct particle as well. So hopefully if you follow this tutorial, you will now have uh, your own block model. Uh, you can experiment yourself with creating other block models. And I'll see you next time in the next episode of Modeling Minecraft. Thanks for watching.